I ride today is the 2011 Jaguar XK. Now the XK came out the gate with lots of award from Motorwig, from Kelly Blue Book. This car was also relying on a lot of heritage from the past. In fact, Jaguar had such a great heritage in the 60s and 70s with race wins at Le Mans and great track wins that this car really was able to carry forward. But it's built its own place in history. The XK is one of the best tourers in the world with great engineering. What's under the hood is outstanding. The body styles, the way the car is actually put together in the factory is very different than any other car on the road. The fact that they use aluminum inside the vehicle and it's so well tailored, there's no more of that electrical problems that they had in British cars in the 60s and 70s. This car is a premium engineered tourer. Under the hood, it's a five liter engine, puts out 385 horsepower. It's up from a 4.2 liter engine, which was the previous generation. And every single year, Jaguar go in and retune this engine. Now the engine again stands out on its own. They're not relying on heritage. They're actually designing whole new engines every time they put these together. The great thing about this is you look at its rivals and the amount of CO2 that this vehicle puts out is significantly less. Look at the other vehicles in the class. This is one of the most outstanding engines and you get things like 25.2 miles a gallon on the average. The exterior of the car hasn't changed significantly in the last couple of years, but the assembly is very different than a lot of other cars in the world. They actually glue the panels together and use rivets to hold them in place rather than spot weld them. And one of the great things about this vehicle is it has great torsional rigidity. It's very lightweight. If you ever take a magnet and try and stick it on the outside, you'll notice that it doesn't stick. And that's because of the composite of the vehicle. It's easy to repair after an accident and it looks good and wears well. Paint is a deep, rich color and also has a sort of protective guard over the outside. So these cars, even though they're two or three years old, still maintain their beauty the first day they came out of the showroom floor. When you look at other vehicles in the class of the Jaguar XK, you'll find that some of them are about $40,000 more, but what you get for that $40,000 less is no less in luxury inside the XK. You'll find things like the navigation, climate control, and audio screen uses flash and computer language, and they were the first company to actually use that. It also has that great throbbing start button that looks like a heartbeat. They have the gear lever that comes up out of the center console, and then you select the gear. This vehicle is so well tailored on the inside, even down to where the seat controls are. Very similar to Mercedes, they're actually on the door, but in the Jaguar, they're actually chromed and they're actually made of leather and metal, which makes them look so much more expensive. The stitching on the inside, the luxury, makes this car a premium touring vehicle for 2011.